you're going to have to deregulate a tiny number of people who are absolutely powerhouses on generative far right tail behavior. And you're going to have to unshackle them. And then you're going to have to somehow force a spreading of wealth in this deregulated system. You're going to have to recognize that the output of different human beings based on the kurtosis of how people are distributed has to be embraced. So what does that look like in real world terms, Eric? You probably shouldn't be telling Elon Musk that he's not invited to the electric vehicle summit at the White House lawn. You know, get over yourselves. Um, Elon, and you know, I've been super critical of Elon on a, on a lot of different things, is a next level human being at some level. He's also a bullshit artist. He's a master showman. He's a troll. He fakes things. He's a genius. He's a scoundrel. I mean, he's, there's a lot going on with Elon. And what I'm trying to say is, you're going to have to start dealing with super complicated generative people. I worked for Peter Thiel for 10 years, almost. Peter's a genius. He's an out and out genius. And he's a better communist than most communists. He's got the ability to run communism in his mind. He can run capitalism and libertarianism and anything else. You're going to have to start, stop demonizing these people in these completely simplistic terms. You're going to have to invite a lot of freaks and weirdos, according to normies, to dance and play and build and think. And you're going to have to stop just making their lives a living hell. It's one of the things I've been thinking about a lot. We confuse wealthy people with, with successful people, and we tar them all with one brush, and we say, if you've got money, you're evil. Well, here's the... Really interesting news. A lot of these people tolerate people with radically different politics. Peter yeah. Thiel and I have radically different politics. We can also finish each other's sentences at yeah. times. You know? The, the world of remarkable people needs to be more unshackled. And more people need to be invited in case they are also remarkable and they come from circumstances where it wasn't identified. You know, my, my belief is... And I'll save this maybe towards the end, but you need to go after your learning disabled people because a lot of those people are the innovators that you desperately need right now. You're making their lives a living hell. You're making school a daily exercise and having your head shoved in the toilet. And a lot of those people are super learners that you're pretending are learning disabled. Um, we need a new economic model that is based on the tiny number of people who can perform in these completely crazy circumstances. And we need to make their lives great. And we need also to come up with a culture of service, you know, which is really weird. But you don't get to keep your wealth if all you're doing is enjoying luxury and posting pictures on Instagram about, you know, I, I drove my Aston Martin. Martin to get to my Bentley to get to my Gulfstream. If that's your lifestyle, you you failed. You know the key thing is is that serve others. You have to serve. You have you just Bob Dylan got it right. You have to serve somebody. And a culture of service of obligation. Um, I was just at a kind of a secret meeting of incredible people in London, billionaires at the table. In general, I said you know at some point somebody called on me you know and. It was a peer and said, Eric has something to say. I didn't really have something to say. But one of the things I said is, I just listened to you all talking behind closed doors about the need to help those less fortunate. Nobody would believe that that's what you're actually talking about behind closed doors. Right? And you have to op op open your houses, invite people to dinner, to dine with you. I just had this thing with Billy Bragg where I ran into him at a festival. Billy Bragg totally took the piss out of me in a book and on social media. And I said, hey, why don't we share the stage and sing a song together? And he said, hey, what are you doing on my stage? I'm not going to share this. You know, but when I meet him over coffee, you know, we were able to bridge things to come together. And the, the, the issue is we need to do some things where people you never imagined would break bread or share a stage do so. Because this is an emergency situation. So open your homes, invite people in. Show people what it is that's your actual tradition. It's very hard for an anti-Semite to survive a Shabbat dinner. Hmm. And I, I completely agree with you on 
all that you're saying, particularly when it comes to education. As somebody who was a teacher for many years, I saw what we did to the neurologically atypical. I'm neurologically atypical myself, and it's... You're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> how else do we unshackle potential? How else do we unleash this ball of creativity? Stop with... Uh, how do I put this? Look at the troll section on Reddit. It's this giant group of people telling other people, you know that thing you believe in? I saw through it a long time ago. It's like nobody can believe anything. We're in this sort of, I don't know, it's like a, an orgy of not believing, of nihilism. If you don't believe in anything, you lost. Like, it, look, it's all BS for sure. It may be sound and fury signifying nothing, but if that's the answer you came up with, you just lost life. Um, I think what we have to do is we have to put forward a positive vision where we're starting to talk about, you, know, you can see when you, when you come up with a song lyric, I'm in your song. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling it, I'm thinking it. Show people what's possible. Show people how to take anything. A cup of coffee, you know, the, the, the story of Robusta versus Arabica beans, or, you know, we, we could take the light in this room and the fact that I keep talking about there's a secret circle at every point in space and time, otherwise we wouldn't be able to see each other that we don't tell anybody about. So they keep talking to us about Schrodinger's cat, but they don't even understand the beauty of Maxwell's equation. The world is just overflowing with beauty and majesty and transcendence, mm -hmm. and we're caught talking about who thinks how much of themselves and who's self-promoting and who's who's a, a whore for clicks and all of this stuff it's all socially based and i think what we need to do in part is to do cool stuff 